fine. I'm flattered that you find me attractive. Um, but listen, I came here to warn you. Luis is out to infiltrate Crane Industries, and, well, he wants to dig up enough dirt on you that he can bury you with it. Yes, I'm, I'm well aware of Luis's intentions, but as I said, I'm not worried. I have eyes and ears everywhere. There's no way Senor Low Fitz can get inside my company, let alone the building. You think that Chad is my son with Julian? Well, he has to be. Look, Eve, Chad came to town searching for his parents. An old news clipping, his only lead. But he knows his mother's African-American, and he knows his father's Caucasian. You and Julian are here in harmony. And you just told me that you had a son with Julian years ago, that Alistair had taken him from the hospital and has foiled Julian's attempt to find him ever since. I know, but if My son, Luis, once told me that the best place to hide someone is out in the open, and Chad has been under our noses the whole time. Chad is your son, Eve. Chad is your son with Julian. I love you so much, baby. I love you, too. All of you. Hmm. <laughs> mm. You know, we're so lucky to have each other. Look, there are no secrets between us anymore. Maybe no one will ever come between us. Not Puff Dog, or, <laughs> or Latoya, or your pops. Yeah, not even my mother and Julian Crane, right? Yeah, it's just me and you, right? Together, forever. Adopting little Ethan is it's not going to bring Sarah back. You know that. Yeah, I know that. But at least it would give him stable, loving parents, and it would give us a child with whom we've already bonded, who's bonded with us. At Teresa's expense? Why? Ethan, why does it always boil down to Teresa? Why in the world are you so concerned for what's best for her all I the time? I am not. I'm trying to figure out what's best for all of us. And this idea of Sheridan's to, to have a surrogate carry our biological child to term. Gwen, it's perfect. It is perfect for us. We should make an appointment with Dr. Russell, get her opinion, and if it's viable, we might not even have to adopt. I'm all for talking to Dr. Russell. It's just I have been so disappointed in the past. Well, hopefully this will be a turning point for us, for, for our future as a family. Look, honey, I don't want to fight with you. I love you, and you're my wife. And the last thing I want is for Teresa to drive a wedge between us. But it keeps happening. Not if we don't let it. I'm going to call Dr. Russell. I'm going to make an appointment, and we are going to forget all about Teresa. Okay? Oh, boy. Here we go. Fox! Fox, please! Please help me! Help me. Guards, could you please keep an eye on my stepson? He's not to be trusted either. Yes, 911, this is an emergency. Could you please send some police to the Crane Mansion? Someone is trying to kidnap my little boy. No, this, this can't be happening. Oh. Oh, Teresa, it is. I mean, what did you think was going to happen, huh? Did you think you could just sneak in here and take little Ethan and not get caught? Well, think again. Because you are going to jail. And this time, without Fox's money to help you, you are going to stay locked up. Little Ethan, repeat after me. Mommy did the crime. Now she'll do the time. Mommy did the crime. No, sweetheart. No, 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 no. Of the one who could sing so sweet, and I would fly on the wings of a bird I knew could take me high as breathe in, breathe out. You me up alive. You are the fire burning inside of me. You are my passion for life.
Don't worry about Luis, my dear. He could never get in without being noticed. Excuse me. What do you think you're doing? Uh, uh personnel. Uh, I'm here to apply for a job. You're in the wrong place. That's Alistair Crane's private office. I'll show you to personnel. Oh, oh, oh thanks. What's going on out there? I'm sorry you were disturbed, Mr. Crane. A job applicant couldn't find personnel. Eager and stupid. <laughs> Our kind of worker. Tell personnel to give the applicant due consideration. Yes, Mr. Crane. Now, go away. I'm working on a merger. I'll take you to fill out a job application. Oh, thanks. Well, you know, I gotta tell you, I'm, I'm really excited about being part of this uh, Crane family. Yeah. Watch. Well, I guess I should leave before anyone sees me. If Luis found out we had a connection, I'd be done for. Okay, yeah, oh, no, that's great. We'll, we'll see you then. <sighs> Dr. Russell can see us this evening. <sighs> that's perfect. Honey, honey. I, I feel good about this. I mean, I think this idea of surrogacy, it's, it's, it's the answer to all our prayers. I hope you're right. I just wish you could see that I am right about adopting little Ethan. Honey, we would make much better parents than my mother or Julian or Teresa. Are those police sirens? Yeah, it sounds like it. Why? No, Rebecca! What? It sounds like Teresa. God. Teresa, get it through your cabeza. I am little Ethan's mother now. No, Rebecca. All right, you know what, Rebecca? That's enough, all right? No more twists in the knife. You've upset her enough already. Look, if you're trying to lay the groundwork for an insanity defense, it's not gonna work. She knew exactly what she was doing when she came here to kidnap this child again. Can you say, repeat offender? Okay, stop. Look, you're upsetting him now. But it's not my fault that his mother is a career criminal. Pookie. Oh, no. Oh, yes, Pookie, it is true. Teresa is at it again. Now we can add a second kidnapping charge to her rap sheet. Oh, my God. That's right. Teresa did go too far. Hey, hey, guards, don't, don't aim your guns at the boy, all right? He's right. Teresa should be in your crosshairs, not the little boy. Teresa, what were you thinking? Well, obviously she wasn't thinking, was she? But this time she's gonna pay for it, and I'm gonna make sure of it. Harmony PD, we had a report of a kidnapping. She did it. Teresa Lopez Fitzgerald. Arrest her. Arrest her now. I think you should watch out for Luis. I mean, he's determined to bring you down at any cost. Tell me something I don't already know. Well, he thinks if you're not around to protect Dr. Acklin, He'll be able to reverse whatever they did to Sheridan in the psych ward. And then she'll remember that she loves Luis and not Antonio. Bigger men than Luis have tried to bring me down, and they've all regretted it deeply. But what about... I mean, I have a lot at stake here, too, you know? I did kidnap Sheridan, and I did steal her baby. With my help as Charlie. But what if Luis finds something? What if, what if Sheridan's memory is jogged when she sees her baby? I'm trying my best to keep her and Martin apart, but I cannot be on guard 24-7. You know, even at Christmas, I went to take a shower. Next thing I know, my mother and Precious have Sheridan breastfeeding Martin. Next time you take a shower, could you use a good back scratcher? I'm afraid. Um, I'm afraid that if Sheridan starts thinking Martin is her baby again, she's going to insist on a blood test. And if Luis agrees, which he would, because he loves her, the test results will prove that Luis and Sheridan are really my baby's parents. And, and then everyone will know Gwen was right to be suspicious that I, I really did steal Sheridan's baby. Beth, relax. DNA tests can be altered. <sighs> yeah, on, on days of our lives, but this is, this is real life. Real labs are secure. You can't just go in and to a, a, a test and, and change it. 
I can. In fact, I'll have you know I've had DNA test results altered before. <laughs> Eve, you're a busy doctor, and I've taken so much of your time already. No, sit down, Pilar. Come on, we just found out you had a serious blood disorder. I know, I haven't forgotten. But knowing that your hopes in finding your son have been realized, well, it gives me hopes that my condition will be cured. Chad isn't my son, Pilar. I know for a fact that he isn't. Oh, so you suspected it too. Well, it seemed logical. Chad came to Harmony, specifically looking for his parents. And Julian and I are searching for our son. There were so many dots that seemed to connect. Well, finally, as a favor to Chad and to put my mind at ease, I ran a DNA test on Chad and compared him to everyone who had ever been at the hospital, including Julian and myself. There was no match. So Chad can't be my son with Julian. I'm sorry. I can imagine how desperate you must be. Yes, Julian and I both are. I thought Chad was the answer to your prayers. Yeah, so did I once, but I was wrong. Oh, God. Oh, my God. It's a good thing that you are wrong. Why? Eva, I just remembered Whitney and Chad's relationship had... Uh. Had Chad been your son, Whitney would be in love with her half-brother. That was incredible. No, you're incredible. I love you so much. You know, when I'm with you, I forget about everything else. Even my mother and Julian Crane. You think maybe your mom has been kissing and hugging Julian all this time because she can't get over him building that new hospital wing in her name? Okay, no, stop. <laughs> They're definitely having an affair. All right. And you know what's even crazier about the whole thing is all my mom's speeches about honesty and morality. How could she do this? I mean, how could she do this to our family? And you know what? If my mom is capable of doing something like that, she's capable of anything. Hey, I thought being with me made you forget all your troubles. Well, it does, baby, but <laughs> you know how I worry. <laughs> like right now, I'm worried about Teresa. I mean, I'm wondering if she made it out of the cream mansion with little Ethan or not. Teresa tried to kidnap our little boy. No, no, see, this is my child. And yes, Julian is the father, but I am the only mother that he knows. She's right, Rebecca. You can't blame her for wanting to see her child. She didn't want to see him. She wanted to spirit him away to God knows where. And, and she has no parental rights to see him in the first place, which my son-in-law, the lawyer, seems to have forgotten. You fixed it so she would lose little Ethan. No. The judge said she was unfit, which she seems to have proven by trying to kidnap the child. And if she wants to take him out of the country to, to God knows where, where he's at risk of, of accidents, diseases. He could lose his birthright. Well, that's not true. I would never put my child in danger. Uh, no, you were going to flee the country with him. Weren't Rebecca, you? you can't prove anything. Oh. oh, yes, I can. It's showtime. Call me. You can do whatever she's going, right? Okay, I will. Take care of her, okay? And, um, what you guys to have? I guess you take this. Oh, my goodness. All right. I'm gonna take my car, okay? I'm gonna take the, the back stairs down. I'm gonna strike Dragon Lady. Let's make tracks, okay? Okay. I'm not gonna that Teresa is a kidnapper. No. Little Ethan is my child. I just want to be with him. Would you just stop saying that? <sighs> Teresa has been stripped of her parental rights. Mr. Crane and I have full legal custody of the child. 
This does give Mr. and Mrs. Crane full custody. Yes, but he's still my son. <sighs> Do we need an interpreter? The judge says that you are unfit to parent him. Probably because you attacked my poor barren daughter in the courtroom. And then you threatened to kill her if she were going to try to adopt little Ethan. Now, clearly, Teresa is a danger to this child. Oh, Rebecca, come on. Teresa loves little Ethan. You know it. Yeah, well, Jeffrey Dahmer loved to have people to dinner. That didn't make him a good host. <sighs> Teresa is an unfit mother. Teresa, you have really done it this time. You should have waited for the appeal. And I couldn't wait to see, with, see my son. I love him. Don't you understand? Can you just help me? Can you help me get out of this mess, please? I, I don't know. I'll do what I can. I can't make any promises. Okay, you can make promises, Ethan. You just can't keep them when it comes to Teresa. Gwen, please. <laughs> so much for not letting her drive a wedge between us. You are my passion for life. Well, Mr. Garland, everything looks to be in order. I'll take your application to our personnel director right away. Oh, thanks. You may be in luck. We have a janitorial position that needs filling immediately. Oh, yeah. I can start today. And uh, I don't mind working nights, either. I'll let personnel know. Wait here, Mr. Garland. I'll be right back. All right. All right. Let's just hope my undercover alias works. Garland had a clean record and social security number, so uh, should pass muster. <laughs> then I'll get into Alistair's office and clean up for good. So you've altered DNA tests before? Mm, not personally, but I made sure it happened. How is that possible? Oh, Beth, dear, you should know by now that nothing is impossible for me. I'm one of the most powerful men on the planet. So, um, whose test did you alter? Um, suffice it to say, a young man came to Harmony a while back looking for his parents, and it was not in my family's best interests for him to find them. When he had a DNA test that would have revealed the identity of his parents, I had the results changed so that they showed no match. To this day, the young man has no idea who his parents are or that they're both here in harmony. It would be disastrous to my family if he did. Oh my God. So th this young man must be related to you. To your son? God forbid. Nephew? Grandson? Never mind. I cannot believe you deny a member of your family their birthright, much less keep his parents in the dark about it. Well, you of all people should believe it, Bethy. It's exactly what we've done with Martin, Sheridan, and Louise. Oh, right. Yes, my dear. For this young man to learn who his parents are would be as calamitous to me as Louise and Sheridan knowing all would be to you. I wouldn't want that. <laughs> no, we do not. <laughs> I'll go to any lengths to protect my interests and those of my family. I will lie, cheat, steal, even commit murder. Whitney didn't even know there was a possibility that she was in love with her half-brother and, and until it came out that I had had a son. What do you mean, came out? T.C. found this pair of baby booties that I had kept from when my son was born. And to make a long story short, I had to tell him that I had had a third child. He was so upset about having been kept in the dark all that time that I couldn't tell him that Julian was the baby's father and that our son was still alive, so I just let him think that the baby that had miscarried was ours before Whitney and Simone were born. If, oh, what does this have to do with Whitney? Well, when Whitney found out that I had had a son, she thought that it was Chad. And if that had been true, 
She would have never forgiven me. I would have lost my daughter forever. Thank God that DNA test showed that Chad wasn't my son. Unless the test was wrong. No, Clara. No, that's impossible. Are you sure? Well, I mean, technically, there can be false results, but it's, it's extremely rare. The odds of Chad being my son are infinitesimal. But possible. I want to find my son, but I don't want it to be Chad. No, Whitney's life would be destroyed. My family's life would be destroyed. I, I couldn't live with that. Gwen. Ethan, despite everything that you say, despite the promise you made on Sarah's coffin, you still, you rush to Teresa's side, no matter what she does and no matter who she hurts. Honey, this is about Teresa's child. Ethan, it's always something. It is always something to do with Teresa. I want you to charge this obsessive, compulsive woman with burglary, conspiracy, trespassing, attempting to flee the country, violation of numerous court orders, and yes, kidnapping. And as little Ethan's legal custodian, I intend to prosecute Teresa to the full extent of the law. Okay, Father, you gotta do something, okay? It's not fair to let Rebecca come down on Teresa this way. Do something. The order says that the child's biological father shares custody with his wife. So? So we'd like to hear Mr. Crane's stance on the matter. Do you also want to press charges against Miss Lopez Fitzgerald? Pilar, I am sorry that I got sidetracked talking about my own problems. No. Dealing with your condition is what's important now. I want you to know I'm going to be there with you every step of the way. I know you. So I think what we should do now is that you should tell your family that you're not well. Uh, no, I, I don't want to tell my children. They have problems of their own right now. I don't want to add my problems to theirs. Oh, Pilar, now you have to tell your children. They love you. They're going to want to help you. I don't want to burden them, Eve. Pilar, tell them the truth. There's their love and, and their... Good wishes will give you strength. Look, I'll tell my family later, if and when I have to, but please, right now, I just want to keep my condition a secret. Well, as your friend, I think you should tell them. But as your doctor, I'm, I'll respect your, your wishes. God knows I've kept secrets from my family. You know, what other secrets could my mom be keeping from me? If she's carrying on with Julian Crane the way she if is, I mean... that's what she's doing. What else is she capable of doing? Hey, try not to think about it. Mm -hmm. Just try to enjoy being in my arms as much as I enjoy holding you. Mm -hmm. And then feeling your soft skin next to mine. <laughs> I'm sorry. You're right. This is truly wonderful. You know, you are the one good thing in my life right now. The one thing that my mom can't ruin for me. Mr. Crane, do you want to press charges against Miss Lopez Fitzgerald along with your wife? Uh, uh, yes, uh, Julian. Go ahead. You don't want to keep the nice policemen waiting. They don't have all evening. I must say, I am in agreement with my wife. Julian. Julian. Julian, please. Please, you're just doing this because of Rebecca. You know that I'm a good mother. We had our own custody agreement before she stuck her snout in it. Yeah. Officers, I would like to add slander to the list of charges, please. How can you let it come to this? You don't give a damn about that little boy. That's not true. I do care. And as for pressing charges against Teresa, the situation leaves me no choice. You need to hand over the child now. No. No, please. You can't take my child. Excuse me, would somebody explain to her in Espanol that he is not her son anymore? Give it a rest, Rebecca. No, you give it a rest, Fox, or I am going to have you arrested as an accessory to kidnapping. Ma'am, hand over the boy. Don't make this harder than it already is. No. No. 
please. Mommy. Mommy. Sweetheart. Can't you see what this is doing to my son? This isn't right. Don't you dare blame me or my mother for this, Ethan. Teresa brought this all on herself. Oh, 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 I do blame Rebecca for this. She pushed Teresa into this, and she's a heartless woman. Oh, yeah, and yet you'd rather have my mother adopt a leaf and then you and I adopt him ourselves. Wait, I thought we put this issue behind us. Oh, just like you put Teresa behind you? Gwen, please, Ethan, don't. save your breath. We both know that this latest drama only proves that Teresa's an unfit mother. Now, she will definitely lose any appeal she files to regain custody of the Leithen. And as far as her parental rights go, there is no way she's gonna get those back, not after this. As far as Teresa's being the Leithen's mother, those days are over, okay? And my mother and Julian are gonna be his parents unless you and I adopt him. Is that really what you want? You want your godson, your namesake, to be raised at the hands of my mother? Dear Beth, you never cease to amaze and amuse me. Your shock and awe that I'd alter DNA test results to achieve a desired outcome is astonishing, considering what we went through to keep Louise and Sheridan's baby from her. The baby. What if Louise or Sheridan gets a clue about what happened? In the unlikely event Sheridan starts to suspect Martin is hers and demands a DNA test, I'll make certain the results prove otherwise. And now, Bethy, you may go. We are finished for today. Oh, and Beth, I'll let you know in what capacity I expect you to perform next, at a time and place of my choosing. personnel director reviewed your application and said you can start work immediately. Welcome aboard. Oh, oh, oh thank you. I, I, I can't even tell you how grateful I am to be here. I'll take you down to the staff locker room where you'll be issued a uniform and given your work assignment. Oh, this, this is really fantastic. I, I'm telling you that this is going to change my life for the better. Yeah. I love you too, sweetheart. Please, can I go with my mommy? Oh, but you don't want to go to jail. And that's where mommy's going for a long, long time. No. Yeah, sweetheart, it's okay. Don't cry, please. It's going to be okay. You know, this is right. I'm sorry, but I had no choice but to go along with Rebecca. No, Father, you had a choice. You had a choice. You made a self-serving one. No, Fox, the choice I made protect Eve, the woman I love. Now, you should understand that. You did the same thing with Whitney. You stepped away from us so she could be with Chad out of love for her. You did the noble thing. That's what I'm trying to do now. How can you think destroying Teresa is noble? I hate that I am hurting Teresa, but if I have to choose between hurting Teresa and hurting Eve, I will not hurt Eve. I've hurt her too much already. But don't just stand there. Take this kidnapper out of my happy home. Take her to jail and throw away the key. Teresa Lopez Fitzgerald, I hereby place you under arrest for attempted kidnapping and what are the charges the district attorney may choose to press? You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to have an attorney present during any questioning. If you cannot afford an attorney, one will be provided for you free of charge by the state, if you wish. And you, how could you let this happen? Fox, I didn't. Teresa's her own worst enemy. She should have never come here and tried to take little Ethan away. You know what? You were wrong to help her. You know what, Ethan? She didn't want her son to be raised as a crane. 
You know what that means. Your mother may have doted on you, but the rest of us didn't even get a hug goodbye before we were shipped off to boarding school. Ethan, is that what you want? Is that what you want for little Ethan? I'll never forgive you, Ethan. I thought that, that you were gonna help me, but instead you help Gwen and Rebecca still my son. And you make me sick, too. <laughs> Poor Pilar. To have a possibly fatal illness on top of everything else she has going on in her life. That uh, must be Ethan and Gwen. Julian. So, what are you doing here? I'm on my way to the hospital finance meeting. You all right? I have a patient who's seriously ill, and she doesn't want her family to know about it. Oh. Problem is, she needs her family now more than ever, but she doesn't want to be a burden to them. Well, maybe in time, she'll change her mind to tell them. You know, I, I was talking to this patient about the accuracy of test results in general, and somehow the conversation got around to DNA test specifically. Where are you going with this? Uh, well, that DNA test that I gave Chad in the hospital a while ago. What if it was wrong? Oh, what if Chad is our son? What if Whitney has been intimate with her own half-brother all no, this time? The odds of that are astronomical. I know. Yeah, I know. I, I just started to panic. Yes, I promised you I, I, I would find our son before this year is over, and I will despite father's attempts to stop me. You, you have to find him, Julian. I have to know who our son is. I need to know who he is. Security, this is Alistair Crane. I want to make sure that all guards have a photo of Luis Lopez Fitzgerald and that under no circumstances is he to be allowed to enter the building. Good, good. This is the file Luis and Sheridan almost found in the Crane archives that day. Julian was an idiot for having it stored in there in the first place. This file and its bombshell contents should have been here, in the safest of safes all along. But now that it is here, I have nothing to worry about. Luis will never find the smoking gun he needs to ruin me. He'll never get into the building much less this office. You there. Wait here while I go get your arrest record. Then we'll finish booking you. I can't believe I'm back in jail for trying to be with my child. It's my fault. It was stupid of me. I shouldn't have helped you sneak inside the mansion. No. You did it because you love me. And I love you for it. Up, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to post your bail. 
properly. I don't know what I'm gonna do if it's high, because um, I'm just kind of tapped out from last time. I just made such a mess of things, you know? I'm never gonna be with my son. I've lost him forever. Yeah, well, so much for you keeping Teresa out of trouble, Woody. Rebecca just caught Teresa trying to take little Ethan again. What? Great Guga Mugga. Woody, we've got to do something to help her, okay? Teresa's not a criminal. She's just a mother who's desperate to be with her son. Ethan, we have to appeal Judge Sanders' decision to that slimeball, Judge Riley, and I assure you, he will not see it as you perceive it. Rather, he will view Tedessa's tenacity as treachery. As I said prior to and here before, Tedessa needed to show that she was stable and able to take care of the needs of that child, for even Judge Riley to consider restoring her parental rights. After this, getting busted twice, twice for kidnapping. She'll never be little Ethan's mother again, ever. What if the charges were dropped? <laughs> By Rebecca? <laughs> when pigs fly, my brother. No, 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 what if, um, what if someone else adopted little Ethan, someone who uh, didn't press charges? Well, then, Teresa would go free. But Ethan, who would adopt the boy? I will. Gwen and I will adopt little Ethan. Ethan has been helping Teresa this whole time? We did it, Gwen. Little Ethan is finally yours. I'm going to see my father to demand that he tell me where our son is. I'm Victoria Gotti, and welcome to my show. Today's topic is brothers who fall in love with their sisters. I think you're wrong about Ethan. I don't think he's going to adopt your son. We should adopt little Ethan. 